Margaret is Pearl here and welcome to my priestess path. Hello, my name is Margaret. I'm here with another psychic 144 tip and these are my top five tips of spirituality. So you want to fuck around and you want to find out, huh? <laughs> I heard this message loud and clear. Uh, if this is your first time joining me today, I'm a priestess of light, a seer. I have visions, I can hear from my guides what is the collective message for today. And it was to share these tips with you all. So the top five tips, the first one is setting a sacred space. So be intentional. What are you calling in? What are you here to do if you're trying to connect with your guides or dive deeper into your soul, heart, mind, body, coherence? Have a specific intention. Before you think you need to go out and learn everything, what is your intention? And then you can ask for guidance. Show me the things that would connect me closer to my soul remembrance, closer to my life path, and closer to what is the divine will. And, and what I mean by divine will is how you may serve others. Number two, protection. <laughs> okay, people, you could have all the crystals in the world for protection, but it is the intention. So anytime you're trying to call out to your spirit guides, I know everyone's out there, it's like super trendy to be wearing your crystals, super trendy to be, you know, asking, asking, oh, I just want to connect to my guides. Well, please do not just say you want to connect to your guides. Anything can come in and act like they are your guides. This is the level of discernment that you can grow. Ask for discernment. During the beginning of my awakening, I cleared as much as I could my mind to have an open mind. But most of all, I set the intention, God, if you exist, universe, if you exist, Jesus, if you exist, my angels, if you exist, show yourself. Please show me in a way that I am protected so that I am not messing around with forces that I don't understand, that don't serve me or the highest good. So that is my tip for protection. The third one, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> this is for all of you that are really good with manifesting. I, when I came across the law of attraction from the book, The Secret, oh my, it was so easy to manifest. Things would just manifest like that. Wish for something, laugh about it, detach, it appears. But be careful what you wish for intentional about what you wish for and sometimes the things that you wish for may not be the highest good for yourself they may be like oh it's like when you really want something and then you finally get it and then you're like oh like this isn't that great or this isn't what I asked for but that's exactly what you asked for when you set the intention so setting intentions about being careful what you wish for like I know okay an example I was my mom she was wanting to buy a house for years and I and so she finally reached out to me and said how can I how can I manifest a house and I said mom ask for the highest good so every time she was looking at, at places to live and she wanted it she wanted all the houses that she put offers in I said mom we should just pray so we prayed together and it, we asked if this is going to be suitable for our family if this is for the highest good thank you if not this then something better so be careful what you wish for if not this then something better i really want this i really want to manifest this but if not this then something better for the highest good of all for my highest good of all okay number four i, I actually wrote this down i don't usually write things down but you know i i wrote it down <laughs> from my journal <laughs> I was with my, my galactic guides this morning. Okay, number four is the 3D to 5D shift. So your mind and heart coherent. So you can't necessarily jump timelines unless your heart and mind agree to the term. So you may be like, oh, I want, I want to live a life fully to my fullest potential. I want to awaken my master selves, my masterful self. I want to serve. Okay, but where is your mind? Where is your thought process 
in this? Are you ready to serve? Are you ready to be seen? Do you believe in yourself? What are the mental constructs that are blocking you from that heart mind coherence? Because we may we may want something from here, but without that link, without that truth, without without linking with your heart and your mind, you won't take action. You will have resistance, you will have blockages. So those will be blockages to your timelines from the 3D to the 5D. Five, my last top tip for today is grace for yourself equals grace for others. So ah, we are all here in, in this ship together remember you signed up to be here you are here in this timeline for a reason but as you're discovering and having more grace for yourself as you're doing the healing work as you're healing timelines as you're recognizing your self-sabotaging behaviors as you're seeing where there's a gap between the life that you want to live that you desire that gap between you. Oh, sorry i am like laughing because there's this light that just keeps hitting my forehead and I am very intentional where I film these videos. I see a vision, I know what to wear, and then I sit and I'm like, oh, should I make this higher, lower, whatever. And so now I know why I had to sit in the shade because this light is just hitting, hitting my third eye and I'm getting my pineal gland activation. But anyways, back to you. The more you have space for yourself, the more that you have space for others. Do you allow for yourself to vent? Do you allow for yourself to breathe? Do you allow for yourself to cry? Do you mother yourself? Do you father yourself? If you do not do these things for yourself, how can you expect to hold space for others? So just have grace for yourself. We're all here serving different timelines with our innate gifts, our natural gifts. And sometimes what we think would be healing for others is really just healing for ourselves. We don't know what's best for the highest good. We know what's best for ourselves innately, but anytime we think and we should, we feel that we have to impose ourselves onto others to fix them, really that's just a reflection that we need to focus on ourselves. You cannot fix others. We can give them tools. We can be guidance. We can be a lighthouse. So show up, show up in your space, show up for yourself so you can show up for others. So that is my last Psychic 144 tip of the five top tips for fucking around and finding out with spirituality. Let me know if these, if these tips work for you, if you tried them. Honestly, these are things that helped protect me and strengthen my connection to source. So I am really thankful there was once upon a time where I was crying on my hands and knees asking what the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> and I had a realization yesterday when I did a dance movement to activate your dragon consciousness. As I was dancing, I, I, I knew there was movement and energy going through me, but I didn't realize until I watched the video what that energy was and I felt the activations of myself watching that video. So I hope that you watch that video. I think it was the last one I posted the dragon dance to honor the dragon within you. So trust yourself. And I guess that was an extra tip. Trust yourself. <laughs> Always trust your gut. Go with the natural flow. And so thank you. So thank you, thank you. Thank you, I will leave you all here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you, I love you, I love you. May you be blessed, may you be unstoppable. And I will see you all on your highest timeline. Thank you, thank you, thank you.